Okay, here's a short tutorial on how to grab an image off the internet and save it as a graphic file on your network account that can be used in any of your projects. Let's say over here I really like this triangle with the exclamation point in it and I want to save that as a graphic. The first thing I'm going to do is I could mouse over to see if a toolbar will show up to let me save it. Since it doesn't, I'm going to do some other trick called the print screen button. You press the print screen button and then in our classroom we have on most of the computers Photoshop Elements. You can also do something similar with Photoshop. I'm going to open Photoshop Elements and I've made it a little bit smaller as a window. I go to File, New, Image from Clipboard. So again it's File, New, Image from Clipboard and this will copy what I print screened into the window here. Now it's a little bit small for me so the first thing I'm going to do is about over here is where the item that I want to copy is located. I'm going to crop out all the other junk. I'm going to press this which is the crop tool and with the left mouse button click and then drag over this area so you see this dashed line and then release when I click the checkbox over here, the green checkbox, it's going to say, okay, the only thing you're going to be left with is the highlighted area. So I'm going to do that. And now I've got something that's easier for me to deal with. I'm going to use this magnifying glass to zoom in. That's zooming out with the minus, so I'm going to change that to plus. And that's something over here that's easier for me to deal with. Now I'm going to go back and crop even more out. So again, crop tool, left mouse button, drag till I find the area I want to keep. Let go of the left mouse button. You can still use these little handles here to make fine tuning adjustments. And then go over here to the checkbox, click check. So now I've got an image that I want to keep. And this white stuff over here really isn't useful to me. So I'm going to get rid of it because if I insert this in a document, that area will be white. And if I put it into a document with a black background, I may not want to show that. So I'm going to erase all of that. I'm going to use this tool, the eraser tool, and with the right mouse button, right click, and pick something called Magic Eraser Tool. So when I click in the white area, Photoshop Elements will get rid of all the white stuff for me. You see this checkerboard pattern try to imagine that that's really invisible. The checkerboard is there to tell you that it got rid of all the white stuff. And now I can make this a little bit smaller or a little bit larger. First of all, you ought to notice up here that we're dealing with a document that's 200% of its size. So let me just size it down so that this is the way it should show up in the document. If I wanted to make it actually bigger, I would go to Image, Resize, image size. And let's say I really wanted the image to be 200% or twice as big. First of all, take these drop downs and drop them down to percent, and then change that to 200. So now I'll have a document that's twice as large, and I can save it. Now, since we're limited to the amount of storage space in school, I want to save it with the least number of bytes. I'm going to go to File, Save for the Web. Again, File and Save for the Web. When I click on that, you'll notice that it presents you with two windows. These two windows show you the before and the after. I'm going to click OK. And then let's call this Big triangle. Notice I've saved it in an images folder that is on my network account. Just to show you where that is, it's on my network account in my tech folder. I press save and it saved the work. Now I'm going to minimize Photoshop elements, minimize this, and then go into Word just to show you where it works. 
Use Word, File, New Document, and now I can do Insert Picture from File, and here's the big triangle. I just click on that and hit Insert, and now it's in my document. So that's a quick way to grab an image off a screen using print screen, edit it, crop it, save it as an item in your network account, and then insert it. You could insert this in PowerPoint or any other of the programs the same way.